my sacrifice. <laughs> Let me get the picture up because I don't remember what I said I was going to do. Oh my god, I'm already like starting to overheat. Take your jumper off. I am wearing a bra underneath. Do you want a t-shirt? Maybe. This was not my best idea. Okay, well, we'll pause this and I'll go grab a t-shirt for you. Oh, oh you're coming over here. <laughs> just give it to me. I'll just like try and take it off with the bag still on. I'm going to take the bag off. I'm starting by adding some prosade on the area that I want to add the scar wax later on. This is going to help it stick in place. Not that scar wax really needs that much help sticking, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> that was so nearly death. I almost dropped the entire bottle of prosade there, but that's fine because I saved it. Here I'm just adding some scar wax to the prosade that we applied earlier and just blending it up using a bit of that stuff. Um, uh, what's it called? Wait. Um, Vaseline. That's the word. And now I'm taking a palette knife and just blending out the edges. Also have Vaseline on that so it doesn't stick to my hands and the palette knife because that's what I'm using now. Now I'm starting to carve out the shape that I want in the scar wax with the palette knife. The shape that I went for was an upside down cross because Halloween and satanic and everything. Next up I'm putting some latex over top of the scar wax just to kind of almost set it I guess, um, keep it in place, make it easier to paint over top of when we need to. Next I'm putting foundation on with a beauty blender the same way I would if I were doing my makeup every day. But I'm just going to go a little lighter with the foundation around the latex because it sticks differently to the latex and it shows up weirdly. Now I'm just going to conceal just a little bit under her eyes and around her nose and then a few spots she has on her chin. Fortunately Nina has pretty nice skin in terms of redness and everything so it wasn't too hard. Now I'm just going to blend out the concealer the same way I did with the foundation, just blending concealer. And then we're going to powder over top of that just to set it. Contour time now and I tried to go pretty heavy with the contour to give her more of a sunken in look. But I didn't like it in the end so I just added a bit of dark brown eyeshadow to the same place that I contoured now which is the cheekbones, under the jaw, the temples and a bit on the forehead just to give her more dimension and more sunken in feeling. For the eyeshadow I'm using a really deep brown that is actually from the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette and I'm just going to put it in the crease and, and in like a V shape on the outside and then I'm going to blend that out. Now I'm using black to just darken up the crease a little bit. Uh, apparently Dan CDM did not post a, a Minecraft video today. Oh yeah? What did he post? Um, a new Pokemon game for mobile. There you go Ribs, he's still kind of in my video. So using that black, I'm just using a little round brush to kind of put it in the crease and then I blend it out a little bit as well, just not as much as the brown because this is just to kind of keep the crease really dark. I 
think the phone just went off and I don't know who's it was. Probably not mine. The only people I text are you and Brian, so... Okay, well, the only person I text is you, so it <laughs> probably is you. <laughs> I'm popular. Here I'm just taking a little bit of concealer on a flat brush and using it to clean up the edge of the eyeshadow a little bit. Aside from lipstick, this is the part I dread the most, and this is doing a cut crease in the eyeshadow. So I'm just taking some concealer and using it to on a flat brush to make a harsh line where the black and the eyelid are, if that makes any sense at all. I hope it does, because I can't really explain it any differently. My ear just popped out of the headband. <laughs> Your ears are too big for it, you know? Shut up! I have Dumbo ears. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you know, your ears are fine. Hide those back away, and we good. For some reason here, I put some of the powder I put on her face on the concealer to set it, but I'm not entirely sure why, because there, I put some white eyeshadow over top, and it would have looked better if I hadn't powdered it first, but whatever. Now I'm just filling in her eyebrows with just a eyebrow pencil. Nothing really spectacular with the shape or the colour, just regular eyebrows. The back, I think it is. Oh, My ear won't stop poking out. Nina! Take it. Don't worry about your ear. Stop. Your ears are fine. I hate my ears. They're babushka. Everyone. <laughs> I feel like a babushka with this huge headband on. And now I'm just using some eyebrow gel to kind of keep them feathered up almost, just to give them a bit of a more fuller and almost messier look. Here I just took a sponge and plucked some holes in the end and then put some red alcohol activated paint on it and just kind of dabbed the area around the cut to give it a bit of a speckled, irritated look. Okay, this is my favourite part, and I'm just taking a red blood-toned alcohol activated paint and putting it on a really teeny tiny brush and putting it in the cut, or the cut, what's supposed to be the cut, in the crease of the cross that I made. <laughs> I'm just using an aged blood tone, which is just a deeper red, to give it a bit more dimension. Back to the eyes, I'm taking the same brown that I used on the upper lid and I'm using it underneath the eye now and blending it down. Using the same small brush, I'm going to take some brown and a little bit of black and just kind of smear it underneath her eyes to give her more of a dirty and a more messy look. I don't love this. Oh no, it's- ah! You're fine. Look down. Ah! Nina, I'm nowhere near your eye. Oh my god! I couldn't do that any further away from your eye. You're fine. <laughs> I'm putting my own eyelashes on. Oh, okay. You are god. not getting this. I was gonna say, I'm not good at doing eyelashes, but I'll give it a shot. You can do your own eyelashes. I'm gonna go get you a mirror. Now that she's back from putting her eyelashes on, I'm gonna put some fake blood in the cut, but like actual fake blood, the drippy kind, not just the alcohol activated paints kind. And we're just gonna put that in the cut and a little bit around it, kind of smearing it out a bit. <coughs> I'm choking on the chip. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Please don't die. This would be quite the look for an ER <laughs> visit. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, we're doing matte black lips, and this is my least favorite part of makeup, is doing the lips. I started off trying to do the lips with the applicator, but it was just too hard, so I switched to a small brush later on. I need to say that. Oh, oh. Hey, what if we just leave it like this? <laughs> Look, I can make my fat go. 
Okay, I'm good. Here I'm just adding a small amount of silver eyeshadow to the center of the lips and ombreing it out. Is ombreing a word? Or am I making that up? If I walked around like this all the time, would you be my friend? <laughs> my ball sack is out. Nina. <laughs> oh no, Nina! <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. The final step I took was to take some fake blood on the sharp end of a triangle makeup sponge and then just kind of smear it out and make it look kind of like splatter and smeary and fun. Perfect. So what's those paper? Um, the Christmas not uh, the Area 51 right? Oh, good. I mean, I don't think they actually are, but like, try some. Pickled onion. The best flavor aside from salt vinegar. Fuck salt and vinegar. Fuck you.